We have uh, AMI Kids White Pines, Mr. Chris Sellers uh, from uh, Gaffney, South Carolina. Chris will share with us how AMI Kids White Pines has helped him realize his potential to be something great. So welcome, Chris. Come on up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. My name is Christopher Sellers, and I'm from Gaffney, South Carolina. In my life, I have learned that words without actions are empty. I've learned that a person's actions, not words, are the true indication of what pushes them, drives them, and motivates them in life. Boy, you're going to be just like your dad. These are the words my grandma spoke to me a few years ago. For most young boys, they'd be happy to hear this, perhaps indicating they were becoming a hard worker, dedicated, and a provider for their family. Unfortunately, for me, I knew this is not what my grandmother was talking about. My grandma knew how my dad lived. The lifestyle of my parents is the reason I've been in custody of my grandma since I was two years old. My dad was selling drugs and constantly owing people money. My mom was addicted to the drugs my dad was selling. This is my parents, the drug dealer and the drug addict, a recipe for disaster. DSS had to get involved, and they tried to place me into a foster home. My grandmother would have none of this, so she volunteered for me to come live with her. My parents still wanted custody of me. We went through a repeated cycle in the courts of my parents saying they loved me, they would pass a drug test, and they were ready to care for me. These were proved to be empty words. Each time the judge ordered a drug test, they tested positive. Each time a home visit was conducted, the environment was still the same. My parents had no actions to support their words. My dad ended up going to prison for trafficking, and my mom has been in and out of rehab facilities for several years. As I got older, I developed some of the same habits as my parents. My grandma knew what my habits would lead to. She warned me of what my actions would lead to, but I didn't care. I didn't listen. I was using drugs, and my actions would ultimately lead me to come and day in my kids' white pines. I did not want to be at white pines. I had people telling me what to do. I had people holding me responsible for my actions. I had rules to follow. I had staff talking to me about setting goals and making positive decisions. I wanted nothing to do with any of this. I broke all the rules I could break, and I wanted to get shipped off to the yard. Big Brother, or as we, uh, Mr. McKinley, or as we call him, Big Brother, would constantly talk to me about how being at White Pines is something I may have not have wanted in my life, but it's definitely something I needed in my life. Being at White Pines affords me the opportunity to do a reset of my life and change the path I was going down. During one visitation, as he was telling my grandmother that my poor decisions since entering the program, I saw tears falling down the cheeks of my grandmother. I got goosebumps, and the same tears started falling down my cheeks. My grandmother says she wants so badly for me to do well in life. She knows I have a good heart and knows that I can be something great. Big Brother reconfirmed her words and said that the power to be great was within me and that it was up to me as to how the rest of my life would continue. He said, I already know what my current behavior will lead to and that I have nothing to lose and everything to gain by choosing a different path in life. I wish that I could tell you that since that day in the calf that I have not had any issues with my behavior. But one major change is my ability to accept consequences and move on instead of making excuses or flipping out when I get caught. Staff has noticed a major change in my <clears throat> behavior. Staff has recognized me for these changes. It feels great to have the staff say, great work, awesome job, and we are proud of you. Instead of them saying disciplinary work detail again. <laughs> <laughs> my peers have noticed a change in my behavior as I was voted onto the Student Government Association at White Pines. Mr. Q even chose me to give a tour to the CEO of Canteen. He met with me to let me know that I was going to be given a chance, and they expected me to do an excellent job. It felt great to know that I was being trusted to do something important for the program. As I gave the tour and talked about the program and my progress since entering the program, it made me proud. Boys counseling groups with Big Brother have helped me become a respectful young man. I'm able to learn the positive traits of manhood and that a person's attitude will determine their altitude. Having examples like Big Brother each day helps me see what it be means to be a man changed. Now people are saying, I'm proud to see what you are coming and can't, I can't wait to see what you become in the future. For whatever my mind can conceive and believe, I will achieve. Thank you for your time and support of MI Kids White Pines, where change and empowerment takes place every day. 